Welcome to the final lesson of macro and here we are going to see the application of macro. You have already understood about what is this macro and how to apply and all about the VBA in this course. Now in this lesson we are going to apply and see in how the real life application these macro works. Okay so here you can see one a personal budget kind of dashboard that you have and you have total income total monthly expenses and you have this chart available all these things are created now to create dashboards like this it takes some time even if you are expert right but we are going to do this within a second how let me show you so here you have this you know structure you need to keep the structure of the data as it is in this January sheet okay in the February sheet as well and in March sheet as well and suppose you are assigned a similar kind of uh, assignment to calculate monthly income um, monthly in expenses and create the chart for the other months of the year like February March April May June July so every time you cannot do the same task again and again so there is a need to automate these tasks and for that you need to first look that the structure should be similar okay so we have similar structure in these sheets already done now i'll be showing you here that how we are going to do this task and then i'm going to automate the task and i'll be show that how this automation works within a second and create the same thing that you want in the march sheet are you ready let's go so first <clears throat> i need to calculate these things but before that we are going to record macro otherwise it will not store the programming in the vba and that programming it will not if the programming will not be safe will not be able to apply it on the other sheet right so the total monthly income before creating it go to the developer tab and go to the record macro if this developer tab is not there you can go to the three dots and you know you can choose that developer tab and then again you can come and you can click on record macro in this macro you just need to name the macro that you are going to record so i'll be writing it macro underscore pb underscore uh, two okay and i'll be clicking on okay now when i started recording you will see here stop recording thing which will be coming that means the macro recording has already started now whatever i'll be doing on this sheet now will be recorded okay now i'll be writing is equal to sum because i need to get the sum of the total monthly income so i'll be selecting these cells and i'll be clicking on enter then again is equal to sum i need to calculate the expenses as well so i'll be selecting these cells and i'll be clicking okay so these are the data that are created now i'll be selecting this data and i'll insert respective chart okay so this is created done i'll come to developer tab again and i'll stop the record now in this way this macro is recorded three things chart creation and the summation and all done it took me around 3 to 4 minutes right but if you go to the march sheet and come here to the developer tab and then come to macros and click on this macro pb2 and run it you will see that within a fraction of second all these tasks will be done here let's see when i click on run you'll see all these tasks done it hardly took seconds right you just need to place and formatting and all those things you can do So in this way macro actually automates your work. So you are not going to do for the April, May, June, July, no every time you are going to sum write the formula and then create the graph and all those things. No, you just need to click on run macro and the things will be done. Only thing that you need to take care again and again I'm telling is the structure of the sheet. Okay? Now, I hope this is clear, but there is a catch. There is some mistake that we are doing here. if you calculate the sum of the monthly expenses it is not 1515 here you see the sum it is 2186 that means we are doing somewhere some mistake right and we are going to rectify that how let's 
record the macro again and run it okay so i am going to clear these things that i have done and i am going to delete the macros as well so these are the two macros that we created uh okay these are the this is the one that we created actually previous one was already created in this worksheet workbook now <clears throat> one thing that we did previously was selecting these cells while calculating the sum you know using sum formula but this time we are going to use a shortcut that will help you to adjust the macro automation or the work it is doing based on the length or the number of data so here you see on the march sheet the number of data under expenses are more than that of the february okay so here it is calculating till here only okay because we selected the cell but this time we are going to do something different please notice this because it is very important for you to know so again i'll do the same thing I'll go to developer, I'll go to record macro. This time I'll name it underscore PB underscore three. Cool. I'll be clicking on OK. Now the recording has started. I'll be writing is equal to sum. I'll be going to this. I know this time I'll be doing it, clicking on it and then enter. For this also, I'll be repeating the same step is equal to sum. I'll be coming here. Okay, and be doing like this. Enter. Okay, you have seen shift command down arrow. Okay, it selected all the cells. Okay, all the cells of this sheet. Now this is already recorded in this macro now that I have chosen shift command and down. Since I am using MacBook, you can use uh, shift control and down arrow for selecting all the cells. You already know about these basics. This is already covered in the Excel course that we created and it is there on our website. If you have not checked out, please go. And if you already know, no need to buy and check out those things. Uh, this is what you need to do. And you will be selecting this data, go to insert and then you will come to this and you will create this chart. Work done already. Now go to developer stop recording done now the same thing i'm going to repeat here on march sheet but i'm not doing step by step previously you have seen it was coming 1515 here because of the mistake that we did this time you'll see it will give you the correct data or output so you'll be coming to developer you'll be coming to macros and this is one macro and i'm going to run it and you'll find that this we have okay i need to run it again because there is one data that is not coming sometimes it happens so no need to worry about it okay you see that correct data is coming here okay i'll be taking that i'll not be taking two charts and yeah this is how it is done Okay, so I hope you have understood the difference between selecting data and how to select the data because it impacts how the macro runs and works on the other sheets, correct? So this is how we actually uh, apply the macro and all. You can do the changes here. Uh, I think I have already saved one template that will make these charts look similar to what we have on January sheet so i'll be you already know about this and how to save the template and how to apply the template on other charts and graphs okay so this is all about the macro and how to use it and how to apply and what are the nuances that you need to take care i hope you have understood if you have any question you can put it in comment and you can also ask us on course thank you so much see you in the next lesson hey everyone if you want to know in detail about the macro please go to our website www.skillinlab.com where you have course in detail where you have all the recorded videos practice paper quizzes and we also conduct live sessions every week so that you will learn everything in detail we have offer that is running right now so please go and check out our website also in description you will have all the details all the links that you require